Hi students, welcome. So now we are discussing about how to solve the problems in the projection of lines topic. So our problem is a line AB 60 mm long as its one end A is 50 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. Other end B is 20 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of VP. Draw the projection of straight line. Clear. So, in this problem, the line AB 60 mm long. So, true length of given line AB is the given 60 mm. Clear? So, the line AB, ND, A and B. Next one is one end A is 50 mm above HP. So, you draw one XY reference and you draw one perpendicular line. The end A how much distance 50 mm above HP from XY here 50 mm so A dash and 50 mm in front of VP so another one is here A so both are 50 mm above HP 50 mm in front of VP clear and next thing other end B 20 mm above HP 25 in front of VP another end B in previous problem the a dash b dash a b comes so when compared to end a the end b is farthest from reference but this problem the end a is farthest maximum distance here to here but end b is nearer to principal planes how much distance means 20 mm 20 mm above hp 25 mm in front of vp clear so but we 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 know only 20 25 but where here or here or here either here or here or here we don't know but we know only the distance is 20 so therefore we draw 20 distance the distance is 20 distance you draw one line here 25 distance you draw one more line 25 distance okay so in that point only the end B is lies. Therefore, this is locus of B dash. This one is locus of B. Similarly, from A dash, you draw locus line. From A locus line, this is locus of A dash. This is locus of A. Clear? Right. And next thing. So we know where A dash and A, where the B dash is lies in how much distance X and Y, clear. And here the true length they given 60 mm. So take compass A dash as the center intersect arc on that locus of B dash. So this distance is 60, that is called true length, it is 60 mm. So this point is B first inclination 1 front you dash similar case same 60 mm a as a center intersect or contact locus of b so this end is b2 top u so without dash so this is also same true length 60 mm clear then you draw one vertical line from b1 dash up to that locus of a clear you draw one vertical line from b1 dash up to that locus of a so this point is top u b1 clear right next thing from b2 you draw one vertical line up to locus of a dash from b2 you draw one vertical line up to locus of a dash so this is b2 top u means this is b2 dash front view clear right now as per the procedure a dash b2 dash as the radius you draw one arc clear so a dash b2 dash as the radius you draw one arc that arc where it is interested in the locus of b dash so a dash b2 dash as the radius you draw one arc that arc where it is intersecting on the locus of b dash this is final end b so your line joining 
ए डैश सॉरी ए डैश बी डैश सो दिस इज एलिवेशन लेंथ सिमिलर प्रोसीजर ए बी वन एज द रेडियस ए एज द सेंटर इंटरसेक्ट और कॉन्डक्ट लॉकस ऑफ बी clear this one so this point is b whether our answer is correct or wrong means a b dash and b both are coincident and a single vertical line means this correct so now the line joining a and b so this one is plan length this one is elevation length clear right so now angles you know that in this problem draw the projection of a straight line only they asking additionally if you same problem you determine that inclinations with vp pi angle with hp theta angle the front view makes an angle alpha and top view makes an angle beta they asking these angles also means we can easily determine Okay. Procedure is same. Okay, where to where you made it arc, and where to where you draw the vertical lines. That is very important. So from which locus lines to which locus line. Yeah. So this is the procedure. Thank you.